If you want to know how automation, AI, and people are working together, you can see it inside this 3 million square foot building where Amazon employs more than 1,400 people and stores up to 40 million products. Amazon says it logged its biggest Thanksgiving holiday shopping period ever this year, and data shows consumers spent a record $10.8 billion online on Black Friday alone, 10% more than last year, making this kind of efficiency the future. I'm here in Shreveport, Louisiana, inside Amazon's fulfillment center that just opened a couple of months ago. This is the first time national media has been inside. With me now is chief technologist Ty Brady. Ty, what is happening here that's not happening anywhere else in the world? Here we have 10 times the amount of robotics as compared to any of our other fulfillment desk centers. We can uh, process your order 25% faster and offer 25% lower cost to serve, which means that we can pass along that low cost uh, to our customer. We first took you inside the Boston lab where these systems were being tested. This holiday, thousands of these robots are now fully operational, including Sparrow, Cardinal, Sequoia, Robin, and Proteus. It's possible because here everything is containerized. Instead of humans walking miles a day to get products off the shelves, the items are put into blue and yellow bins that robots can easily maneuver. We don't want people to lift heavy objects. We don't want people to take uh, boxes and put it over their head or reach down really low. If we can have a robotic system do that for our employees, all the better. The injury rate at Amazon is higher than those at other comparable warehouses, according to a report by the National Employment Law Project. But the company says technology like this has helped make substantial improvements to safety. In March, Amazon announced its reportable incident rate last year was 6.5 cases per 100 workers, down from 6.9 cases in 2022. Here, Sparrow is taking on a repetitive motion job. Amazon says having robots do this work is part of its pledge to reduce injuries. So in other warehouses that don't have Sparrow, people are doing this job. People can do this job, but this is a menial, mundane, repetitive job. We'd rather have our people do other things inside of our, our building. Through Amazon's upskilling program, people who used to do manual labor jobs are now moving into jobs overseeing, repairing, and programming these machines. Amazon says these roles can offer pay that's up to 40% higher than entry-level jobs. Once the items are sorted, they head here to Sequoia, where humans and robots work together. The goods are coming to the person on demand at just the right time, and we design the system in order to be ergonomic for our people, right? Yeah. So he's not bending down, he's not reaching exactly. up. Exactly, there's no ladders to reach up, he's not bending down on his knees, right? It's in the, the Goldilocks zone or the power zone. Brady says the best packaging is no packaging. He says Amazon's eliminated more than 130 million plastic bags by replacing them with paper or even skipping packaging. So if something already comes in its own box or packaging that's safe to ship, that's you right. don't need to add more packaging. That's right. This is Proteus. As you can see, it's carrying a bunch of Amazon items ready for delivery. And it has little eyes on its face. And it can sense when we're close to it, it'll chirp and stop when it notices people are in the way. Please, carry on. It looks like a Roomba on steroids, but these robots work on the floor, and when there aren't enough of them, human workers push and pull those heavy carts. Brady says the future will never be fully automated because people need to design and program the robots and keep them running. No question, some of the basic manual labor jobs have been eliminated. They won't be coming back. I mean, remember how we used to have toll takers and now we just drive through with those remote passes. Amazon says, though, this tech has created hundreds of new job categories and they are training workers for free on site to get them ready for those new roles in their career choice program. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.